All right, hello, I'm Jog, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda. Zelda 2, The Avengers of Link, last time. We finished off the second dungeon, and on uh, this one, well, we really don't really know where to go. Let's see if there's anybody in this town that might give us some helpful advice. Sorry, I know nothing. Great. Hello. You're the guy that told me to talk to air if I remember correctly. Okay. Also, I'm down to one life? One life. No, two lives. I think it technically is like one and then zero. The island palace in the south has a raft. Hmm. Honestly, the kid probably gave me the best piece of advice right now. Although, how are we going to get to an island? Questions for later. Anyway, we found some medicine last time, and I think it was for you. Watcher of life? Quick, come with me! Yes, okay, if I remember correctly, we 100% need the spell to proceed with the game. Because it's annoying like that. Also... <sighs> this magic will give you power! The power of fairy! So how the fairy spell works is that it turns Link into a fairy. So he's able to fly around, which is great if you are trying to avoid falling into a bottomless pit. Assuming that you A, are going to fall into it, and B, you don't have the whole stagger thing going on. Find magic in a cave in the Mogu Swamp. Uh, well, I'm already good on that one, I believe, so that's not useful to me. Let's say, get the enemies to spawn. I'm not having to deal with them, even though maybe I should. I want to go down this way. Ooh, I got lucky that they just avoided me there. Because I want to go down this way to... The King's Tomb. I thought I could read the tomb. This is the King's Tomb. Which king? I don't know. The king. Anyways, we want to go directly south of that to find a new location. Bit of a joke move to have these weird parasite-looking things right there. This is why we need the fairy spell. Specifically so we can just get up the mountainside. Because, you know, jump the jump spell isn't good enough. Also, these guys can now finally be taken care of properly with the downward stab. Hmm. You're gonna reset? No. Oh. Okay. Three hits, I think that was. That is fine, although I'd love to get my sword upgrade. I think that's the next one at 2,000 experience. Oh, I gonna say I hear them. Surprise, I don't have that one. Well, mm, it's only these guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll definitely fight, considering the fact I can get my magic back easily in the next location. Because at the start of this palace is you. Although it's not always what I'm looking for. But just leave and come back in. Potion. So, because there's a potion at the front of this dungeon, if things ever go south, I can always just leave the dungeon to get myself a potion. And... Oh, you! I boomerang bro, essentially. Dang it. This is not going well for me. Die, please. Thank you. I lost half my health against that one guy. Ooh, I think this is actually a more evolved skeleton. Even though... Ow! Kind of works the exact same as the other one. My attack power is low. I hate to do it, but I lost so much of my health just starting off. And I don't have enough of two life spells. Dang. Just slightly off. The worst part is, I'm gonna leave and that guy's probably gonna come back. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that won't respawn until I actually leave the area and come back. And... As much as I would like to try and fight that Dark Nut, he's in such a bad spot for me. I don't think it's worth it, so... There we go. Okay, almost full. That, that should be fine, I hope. 
Yeah, yeah, I should be able to find myself a blue potion somewhere down here. The hammer guy, a boomerang guy back. Yes. Let's be safe. Oh, okay. There we go. Let that despawn. And I guess that also means I could use this as a grinding area. Go, you know, yeah, because I get 70 just from that guy alone, compared to like doing fighting bubbles. Oh, and you guys are back. Fantastic. Uh, I was gonna say they're the breakable blocks. But I guess I can get the kangaroo man stuck in pits. So that's fantastic. God dang you. And more fire party ghosts. This also seems like... Oh, no. Nothing in that. I was thinking there would be another place for a boomerang, bro. No? Okay. It works for me. This one, not as much. Okay, key, so... Kinda neat. Oh! oh. Got me on that one. Okay, multiple boomerangs does not help me. Okay, I, th I think uh, that life spell. I got it like the last second. Get my health back up. Okay, is it full? And yeah, uh, oh, sword beam cannot hit him. Oh, you jerk! Freaking sword was able to get through the dang thing. Four. Okay. Bit of a difficult jump. We need to make sure we get running speed for this. Oh, mm, I was gonna say I want to make sure I stamp down, but not too much. Find another guy down here. Yep. You can also notice the fact that my jump was actually able to hit the the blocks up above me. I don't want to deal with you, but you're just going to be annoying. Thankfully, stay over that way. Uh, if I leave, I think the blocks will respawn. Thankfully, I got that jump first try. Bring up jumps. See if I can make this jump. No, I failed. Okay. I need to get out of this pit, if I remember this location correctly, because we want to go to the right. Hey! Okay, I was going to say, that's an annoying jump. It almost feels like you need to have the jump spell to get out of there, which is n thankfully not the case. Oh. I was just about to say, this guy must not have had any spicy food, because he was fine. They had a freaking fly in my room! Where the heck did that fly come from? Annoying. Uh, well that one is locked, needing a key, but I got two of them. That looks like it would be forward. Uh Frickin' Bricka Bracka. So these guys just kind of spawn from wherever. They will essentially spawn where Link's head is. And that will be essentially their height, and then they go down. Thank you. Let's just stick on this floor for right now. Out of here, you. Three, four. Also, uh, I looked up in between last episode and this one how the attack stat works. And uh, the most basic way is that it increases 50% with every level. So, uh, level 2 is 50% stronger than <sighs> the attack power I had at level 1. And then level 2 is 50%. Oh my god! I don't know if I'm getting out of this. Ay 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 ay. I don't know if I'm getting out of this room alive.
Because I think I might have I got myself stuck in a situation where I can't win, or can't get out. Oh my god. They don't just stop! Oh my god. Oh, thank god. Jesus. And while I'm like so close to death. Yeah, because that beeping's not going to get annoying anytime soon. Uh, let's go to the right. Probably take an elevator going down. Let's explore this entire floor first. Let's see, you're going to spawn. Mmm, almost got me! Oh, there's a another enemy. D don't give you uh, jaws or anything when you kill them. Elevator! Okay, get me out of here for right now. If I, when I die, I'm gonna be spawning here at the elevator rather than all the way back on the left. Also, this guy's still in my... I'm at a little sliver of health. Are they still in my experience? I can't actually, I couldn't honestly tell. He... Ah, I was going to jump over you. <clears throat> I think this is my last, yeah, my last life. So if I die, it's another game over. That works. Oh, you jerk. Fairy spell might not be a bad idea to have on this one. I'm not going to risk falling into these pits. I have the fairy spell, but I'd really rather not use that if I don't have to. The right side. I'm almost at my next level. Blue Dark Nuts! These guys are a little bit annoying because they actually have throwing knives. And we actually hit them, they go into a little bit of a... Uh, maybe not a berserker state, but an angry state. So they start throwing a bunch of knives. Thankfully, the location of their knives is not all that difficult to figure out. Just, I'm just being a little bit impatient when it comes to finding this guy. Ow. So this guy does not want to die. How many more hits does it take to get this guy? Thank you! I'm all the way down here to get the raft. Meaning we so wish we can leave the dungeon now and come back later. Oh, but I'm just gonna get this... Well, I'm gonna try and get this dungeon done. If I cannot get this dungeon done, well, it just means I'll have a second dungeon I can come back to later on for a full level. I'm gonna get it out of you just to be safe. So, technically, I should have enough for the fairy spell, if need be. Granted, I think this might be the only room I have to worry about that in. Uh, I just barely miss out on having enough exper enough enough magic for a second, second heal. Although, I was going to say at this rate, I'm just going to get... I'm going to say, you're right there. Just give me your life. Give me my magic. My... Not my magic. Give me my weapon. Level 5 out of 8. So my attack power is now 50% stronger than it was before. I don't know what the exact number is, but yeah. 
That does mean that these enemies should die a little bit faster now. Potentially. Okay, no, I don't. I'm thinking to myself, do I want that? Mm. You jerk! Hit me in the back. I think we're nearing the uh, end of this dungeon. So I'm not gonna use that key bag. I'm going to anyway, would have nothing to lose by getting it. Yeah, three heads. I think it was four before. Four before, yes. Another power bag. So that would be, say, 400. Yeah, we're at the end. 400. 550, so maybe 600 I would get out of that, and I don't have enough. Okay, I believe this one is the Jousting Knight. It is. So, uh, this is actually a two-parter fight. First part of the fight is that we need to hit the knight a couple of times. The horse is, the horse won't, uh, do us anything. The, the, uh, down strike, down stab is fantastic for this. Also, uh, it's not an actual horse. It's like, almost like a motorcycle type of thing, like hover bike. Which just begs the question of what is the technology in this game, in this land? I was gonna say, I think it was one more hit away. Yeah, so. I was gonna say, we attack him enough, he gets off his horse. Okay. Well, I think that saved me, but at the same time... Yep! Ah, oh, you freaking jerk! Well, okay, bright side, silver lining. I got the level out of it! I went in, in that entire way just to get one level. Oh, boy. But we got the item. And I've already unlocked the doors and everything, so all I have to do at this point is just get to the end of the dungeon and fight the boss. But again, I technically don't even have to do that because I can come back for that later on. <sighs> I I'm upset with myself, but I'm I I'm just going to move on. I'm just going to move on. It'll technically be a lot easier for me to get through that now. I say a lot. It'll be easier to get through that now that I have the stronger attack, but I think I'd rather just use the raft and cross the entire ocean to another peninsula. To a place that has tektites that cannot be hurt by the sword at all, flies that drop rocks, and yes. So, those octorocks, well not octorocks, tektites, are uh, one of two enemies that I want to say got changed over in the western release. Them and the Dongos. In the original Japanese version, I want to say it could be hurt by your sword, but not in this one. Welcome to the town of Naburo. Naburo. Please save our town. Honestly, a town seems fine, other than the Octorox. Uh, I keep calling them Octorox. They're not Octorox. Tektites. Hello there. With boots, I could walk on the water. Ah. Uh, I don't know if Boots would help you do that. Hello there, man. Would you be so kind as to give me back my magic? Thank you. Okay, so this must be the one dungeon I was thinking of. Dungeon town I was thinking of. I'm thirsty. Yes, it is. Go over here to the water fountain. Wanna get some water? Also, um, I just look at this now. Is this... I thought there was water coming up, but I'm guessing that now that I'm looking at it, it's supposed to be a statue? With this part right there being the water coming down. I was thought it was just water erupting, but no, I think it's supposed to be a statue. Okay, so we go to the fountain, get some water, and now she lets us inside to go see another old man. Another wizard! To give us a spell that I may never use. This magic will make your sword shoot fire! So we get the fire spell. How it works is that it's essentially the sword beam. Except more powerful and it shoots across the entire screen. I'm assuming they realized, hey, the fire spell is kinda useless. 
Which is why they made it so that only... The only thing that could harm the Tektites and the Dongos is the fire spell. Which, okay, interesting, but it just means I'm never gonna fight them. The Amen and Darunia before the islands. I guess we could. Whoever devil eats those who are weak. Hmm. That sounds strange. What the heck is a river devil? Well... Essentially, it's something that's going to be blocking our path. That thing down there on the bottom left. That is the river devil. Also, I think this is just another... Ah. I got what? I got fall. I think this is another pea bag dungeon. I think that's all that's in this one. So I just want to check the fun out before I call it quits. Let's say, let those go by. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I'm really annoyed. I really... I just... No, wait. I'm... I'm just very annoyed. Yeah, it was just a pee bag. For 500, that's not bad. Uh, scorpions! Shoot fireballs. You can only hurt them when their eye is open. Oh. I didn't realize it took that much damage. Dang. Why do I feel... Why does Link seem so squishy? Oh, that was a waste of a death. Okay, but I'm just gonna head back to town and call it quits here for the day. Next time... Well, we'll be trying to find out what we can do out here. I don't see a temple around, so... All I see right now is a pathway going up north. So that's where we'll head next time. Till then, so long, farewell. Until we meet again. Later.